To begin, select your station and double click hardware. This hardware configuration has several I.O. modules. Right click on the first digital input 32-bit module and choose monitor modify. For a single scan update, click the status value button. To update cyclically, click the checkbox next to monitor. Click the trigger button. By default, monitoring is done at the beginning of the scan cycle, which is what you want for inputs since they are read in at the beginning of the scan. The trigger condition updates every cycle by default. You may also choose to monitor at the end of the scan cycle, which would be better for outputs. And lastly, you can monitor when the CPU transitions to stop. If you change the trigger condition to once, then when you check the monitor box, updating will only occur for one cycle instead of every cycle. If you place a check in the box I.O. display, then the value of the bytes is shown in hexadecimal format. Close the monitor modify window. Right click the digital output module. Choose monitor modify again. Put a check in the monitor box. To see if any forces are taking place, press the F5 key. Line 3, Q4.2, is being forced from a force table as indicated by the red F. You can learn how to view a force table and how to start and stop forcing in the video on forcing I.O. Close the monitor modify window. Right click the analog input module and choose monitor modify. Put a check in the monitor box. The two analog input channels are shown in hexadecimal values. You cannot change the display format here in the hardware configuration. You can, however, view and change to other formats in a variable table. You can see more by watching the video Create and Monitor Variables using a variable table. Close the Monitor Modify window. Click on the ET200S station. In the Details window, right-click on the 4-bit digital input module. Choose Monitor Modify. Select Monitor, and you see the status of the four input bits. Check the box I.O. display to see the byte shown in hex form. Close the Monitor Modify window. How to modify I.O. values is shown in a separate video. This concludes the video on how to monitor I.O. from the Somatic Hardware Configuration Editor.